ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਵੇਅਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਦ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਰੋ ਆਫ ਗੁਰਮੁਖੀ ਲੈਟਰਸ ਫਰਮ 6th ਲੈਟਰ ਟੂ ਦ 10th ਲੈਟਰ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਹਾਊ ਵੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਥਰੂ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਹੇਅਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਲੈਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਗੋ ਸਟੈਪ ਬਾਈ ਸਟੈਪ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ seven steps to cover for each letter just to recap what we learned in the last time our first letter was oda the second letter was ada third letter was ed fourth letter was sasa fifth letter was ha ha these are the five letters that we covered in the last lecture in this lecture we are going to learn the sixth letter first sixth letter kakka the first step is how to write this letter first a line and then just like this there is no other alternative that we can use but um i think we can so if i get this two from here and instead of using the upper part if i use the below part it will be my kaka so it will be like this so that this below part of 2 you can use as the sixth letter of gurmukhi kaka that was easy actually yep the second step similar letters so this was my first step second step is similar letters if i know how to write this word am i going to learn some other letters of gurmukhi and the answer is no this is a unique letter like we had the second letter of gurmukhi ada even in this letter we said if you know this letter you will not be able to get any other letter from this letter the same thing is true for the sixth letter of gurmukhi the third step how to pronounce this letter we can have this thing so kanji is japanese so kanji is a japanese system of writing we can use this word to get the pronunciation of our sixth letter of gurmukhi give me the sound of ka like we have it like we have in kanji and then we can have the second word capital of afghanistan give me this sound this is kabul so i want to get the sound of this this will be the pronunciation of this letter ka ka from kanji get ka and from kabul get ka 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 so this is the pronunciation of sixth letter of gurmukhi kakka you can of course write it in this way you know but the sound will be different so this is actually a parrot in new zealand kaka but this is not how you are going to pronounce this letter the sound of first ka will come from kanji and the second ka will come from kabul so it will not be kaka but ka ka 
फर्स्ट वन इज कप सेकेंड वन इज का कप का द फोर्थ स्टेप साउंड ऑफ द लेटर so i will write it here i think this is covering up in camera right yeah so the sound of letter will be k it can be from a c or it can be from k it depends for example in the first lecture we talked about this word even though it is a c but it is pronounced as a k cat not sat cat so it can be the sound of k or it can be the sound of c in general whenever you see the word which has the sound of k then it will be starting from this letter k k examples the fifth step we can have the example of of course cat we can have cat because this sound is of k if no symbol is attached to this letter of gurmukhi then it is going to give you the sound of k k for cat and then we can have the example of karate this is again the sound of k even in cat we have k even in karate we have k so wherever you see the sound of k this gurmukhi letter will be used another example that we can have um karma right k for karma we use kaka for karma so these are the three examples that i have the sixth step the sixth step is wrong sounding words are there any letters which will be starting from a k but will not be starting from kaka the example that i can give you of is this word knife because even though it is starting from k it is a silent letter this word will not be starting from kaka because it is a knife not knife if this word will be knife instead of knife then this word will be starting from kaka as it is not true so this will be the example for the sixth step seventh step how to write it correctly if you look at the letter it will look like this a line first and then this thing actually it will be a little bigger than what we have here but even if you do not have this big space here it will be fine instead of you can write it in this way also simple this is the sixth letter of gurmukhi kakka the seventh letter of gurmukhi is kakka first step how to write this letter it is something like a u a u first then just have a line here 
and then a line here. Simple. Just for your knowledge, this is the second letter in Gurmukhi where we will not be having a line here. No, it will be wrong. The correct way will be writing it in this way because this is another letter in Gurmukhi like we have the second letter of Gurmukhi. Ada, we did not have a line here. No, we had it in this way. There should not be any line above because it will be wrong. The same is true for the seventh letter of Gurmukhi. You will not be having a line above. You will not be having it there. Okay, so this is how you will write this letter. The second step is, if you know this letter, are you going to learn some other letters? And the answer is yes. 24th letter you will learn. You will learn 26th letter. And then you will learn 37th letter. These three letters you are going to learn if you know how to write this letter here. The third step is how to pronounce this letter. Many of you might be watching Game of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, we have this word. Khaleesi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sound from here plus the other word that I want to use for the pronunciation of this letter is this. Usually at the end of a Muslim name, we will be having this letter. Sorry, this word. Khan. So I will get this voice, this sound from here and add it here. So it will give me the sound of K and then Ka. I will, I will repeat again. First, get the sound of K from Khaleesi, K-H, and then get the sound of Ka from Khan. K, Ka. K, Ka. So this is the pronunciation of this letter, the seventh letter of Gurmukhi. Fourth step, sound of the letter. The sound of the letter will be K. Wherever you have this sound, K, you will be using this letter. So it will be like this, the sound of K-H. K. The fifth step, examples. The example that I can give is of Khaleesi. The same thing we can have here as an example. Because Khaleesi is giving me the sound of K. So I can use here for an example. But what about this thing? Khan. Can I have the example as Khan? For this letter, here you have written KH, so you're saying I can get Khaleesi, but I cannot get this thing. Why is that? From KH, I can get Khaleesi, but from KH, I cannot get, get Khan. The reason behind is, 
we do not say khalisi we just say khalisi and if you are saying khalisi then it cannot be the example of this letter i can tell you why if you are saying khalisi or khan then with this letter what you have to do is you have to attach a symbol and this thing we messed up in the first lecture actually so that's why i do not want to give the example of khan for this letter even though if you want to write khan you will be starting this word from this letter khaka but you have to attach a symbol to it so that it will sound like kha kha and then there is another letter that you have to add here this will be khan in gurmukhi so if you want to talk about khalisi in by writing khalisi you do not have to attach any symbol to this letter it will be just kha and then other letters but to this letter there will be no symbol attached this is the fifth step the sixth step wrong sounding words are there any words which will be starting from kh but they will not be starting from k we can have the example of um actually we do not have any example so wherever you will be having the sound of k remember the sound k in khalisi don't remember it on the basis of this these two letters kh okay you know if there will be a kh in a word then i will be using this um letter here don't remember it in this way remember the sound the sound in khalisi k if that k is there in a word then you will be using this letter khalisi we do not have any example i guess where you will be having a k h k but it will not be starting with this k k we do not have any example um let me think um now i cannot think of any example so if there is someone who is watching this video and he has an example please let me know in the below comment section seventh step how to write it correctly remember how i said it should be written a u first a line and then this line here so this is how we wrote it here but the actual way of writing is it should be having a little bend here it will be like this a little bend will be there that's it it will not be a curve here but a bend this is the seventh step the eighth letter gaga you might have remember it from the fourth letter that we have it was something like this the only difference between the fourth letter and the eighth letter is this line if i remove this line 
So let me just remove it. Okay. Oops. So if I remove the line, it will be the eighth letter of Gurmukhi. When we talked about the fourth letter, I gave the example of eighth letter that you are going to learn if you know the fourth letter. So how to write this letter? The first step. Same thing we will do like we did for the fourth letter. We will get a one Another one, uh, this like this, this small, you can say O R zero, and then a line here. Or like we did in the other way around, first a, first a pi, then this thing. Similar letters. Second step. We will not be talking about the fourth letter because we already discussed this thing. Apart from that, we will be having the 36th letter and then 38th letter. If you look closely at the 8th letter and 38th letter, you will see only the difference of a dot. So the 18th letter is like this. Only a small dot will be here. That's it. But it will be pronounced completely different than how we pronounce this letter that we are going to learn in the next step actually. So these two letters are completely different. Wherever you are using this letter, you cannot use this letter. Just remember this, it is very, very important. And the same thing is true for the fourth letter. If you look at the fourth letter, my fourth letter was this and 41st letter is this letter and a small dot here. These two are two different letters. Wherever you are using this letter, you cannot use this letter and the vice versa is also true. Wherever you are using this letter, you cannot use this letter. So this is the difference between two letters. The third step is the pronunciation of the eighth letter. We can have this uh, word, grass, right? From grass, I'm going to get the sound of this. Not a G, but G. And the second word that we can use, there is this a famous singer, Lady Gaga, right? From Gaga, I will get this Ga. So it will give me the pronunciation of this letter. From grass, get G. From G, uh, Lady Gaga, let uh, get Ga. G, Ga. This is how you're going to pronounce it. I will repeat again. From grass, get G. And from Lady Gaga, get Ga, 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 ga. If you pronounce it without any break, it will be ga, 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 
ga the fourth step sound of the letter the sound of the letter will be g if no symbol is attached to this letter then the sound will be g fifth is the examples the examples can be definitely grass the first example i cannot have the example of gaga lady gaga why is that the same reason that we discussed for the word khan if i want to write gaga i will have to write this letter that we discussed after that i have to attach a symbol so we do not want to mix the things so i cannot give you the example of gaga here even though it will be starting from this letter but a symbol has to be attached and when you attach the symbol it the sound will not be g but ga this small a sound of this symbol will change the sound of this letter ga add the sound of a whenever you want to add the sound of a to any letter in gurumukhi not any letter but almost all the letters i will explain this thing in the symbols lesson whenever you want to have the sound of a to any letter just add this symbol to the letter if i do not have this symbol it will be a sound of g if i want to have this symbol the sound will be ga the first example if i have i do not want to attach any symbol to this letter will be grass and the second example can be greece a country right and then the third example can be great britain so these three examples where the word will be starting from this letter without any symbols attached the sixth step wrong sounding words are there any words which will be starting from a g but not g don't confuse when i say the sound will be like g it does not hold true for all the words we have in english that is why i said in the first lecture also gurmukhi letters or punjabi you can say is all about the sounds we do not say here giras but garas if you get the sound you will know where you need to use which letter so there will definitely be some words which will be starting from a g but will not be starting from gagga the eighth letter of gurmukhi the first example is germany why germany so germany will be why germany because this letter here is not giving me the sound of grass the sorry the sound of g that i have in grass it is giving me the sound of a j don't get confused with the fifth letter of gurmukhi this is not the fifth letter i'm talking about but the english letter germany is giving me the sound of a j not g so it will not be this letter will not be used to write germany the second example that i can give you is georgia
and it has the same reason. This letter here is not giving me the sound of g, the sound of g that we have in grass, but a sound of j. So that is why this will be the second example where we will not be using the letter gaga to write this word. The seventh step is how to write it correctly. The correct way is how we wrote it. A line first, one, one, and then this thing. Simple. If you remember the fourth letter of Gurmukhi, we wrote it in this way. And what we said there was that this space will be filled if you read a book or read it on a newspaper. So it will be something like this. This thing. So this will be filled. But if we talk about the seventh letter, here, this space will not be filled. Just remember this. How you are seeing it on the whiteboard, the same will be there on a newspaper or in a book. Now come the ninth letter of Gurmukhi, which is Kagga. It is a very different word. It is actually one of the words in Gurmukhi that is exclusive to Punjabi speakers or you can say for Gurbani. This letter or the sound of the letter is very unique in Gurbani. Many Hindi speakers, when they try to learn Punjabi, they will not be pronouncing this letter correctly. And the reason behind is the same letter that they have in, uh, in, in Hindi. So how the sound will be pronounced in Hindi, it will be completely different how we pronounce in Punjabi. So this letter is Kagga. And the sound is very hard to get. So we will come to that part. The first step is how to write this letter. If you look at it closely, you can, um, you can think that it is just a W. Right? Oops, we do not have W like this. Yeah. So this is just a W. You just have to have a line here. Simple. A W. If you know, then you know how to write Kagga. The first step. The second step. If you know this letter, are you going to learn some other letters in Gurmukhi? No, this is again a different letter which will not be teaching you how to write other letters. Like we have the second letter and then we have the sixth letter of Gurmukhi. The same is true for the ninth letter. Third step. How to pronounce it correctly. That is the toughest thing for this letter. Um, we can have something like this for the pronunciation. This sound, if you pronounce this letter, this word correctly, then it will be very easy to pronounce the letter. The sound that this word is going to give us is k. Not g, but k. This sound will be of k, and then we have the example in the earlier letter, Lady Gaga, right? From Gaga, get ga. K, 
ga this is very hard to pronounce so i will pronounce it uh, two times so that you can understand it in a better way ka ka and the full pronunciation will be ka ga ka ga i'm pretty sure you can pronounce this uh these two letters or this word correctly it will be very hard for me if i'm learning punjabi to pronounce it correctly so it will be kagga kagga and it is very it is a very important letter in gurmukhi you cannot ignore this letter and and its pronunciation because in everyday life we use this letter and if if you are not pronouncing it correctly it will be very hard for people to understand what you are saying so the sound will be k ga it should come from your throat k ga the ga sound you will get k sound is a little different so if you have still questions how to pronounce this letter please let me know in the comment section below we might make another video about it the fourth step sound the sound of letter will be this thing k if you get this thing you will know how to pronounce it and this is what will be used to pronounce this letter if no symbol is attached to this letter so it is very important to get this sound correctly i think this is the toughest letter that we came across and the next letter is the toughest letter actually um yeah so the sound will be k ga this k sound this k sound you have to have it for this letter just remember the difference if i want to pronounce this letter i have to include this a k ga but if i want to have the sound of this letter i have to have only g h k not k but k simple that a small sound after g h should not be there it will be k ga and if i do not want to pronounce this letter i just want to have the sound of letter it will be k simple i i mean it is not simple i'm pretty sure you might be confused if you are uh, learning it the first time but we might make a video about it later maybe the fifth um step examples if we are going to talk about english in english there is no letter which will be represented by this word as i said this is very unique and exclusively for punjabi speakers you can say or in punjabi language it is very exclusive word that i have not come across any word so far in english and hindi both which will be representing or starting from this letter so i cannot give you any example but if you want to have the example of punjabi words i can give you so bear with me the first example will be this is the first example this is the second example so this means house in punjabi and this means husband
This first word is pronounced as car, means house. This is the letter that we are talking about. And this is the second letter that we come across in the, in the other lectures. The second example is kar wala means a husband. If you look at these two words here, this one and this one, they both are same and they are pronounced the same way. But these two letters, this letter and this letter change the meaning of the whole letter. Sorry, the whole word. And apart from that, we are having two symbols attached to this letter. This letter, we have this symbol. This letter, we are having this symbol. So these are the examples that can I give you for this word, the ninth word of Gurmukhi. But, but in English, I do not have any example. And even in Hindi, they will be saying for, in Punjabi, we say this word as kar. In Hindi, they will be saying it as ghar. That g sound that they have and the k sound that we have. Both are different sounds. So it is kar, it is karwala. If you know how to pronounce these two, it will be easy to pronounce this letter. And in the other way around, if you know how to pronounce this letter, you will know how to pronounce these two words. Uh, the sixth step is wrong sounding words. If we do not have the words in English, we will definitely be not having the words which sound differently, right? So we do not have anything for the sixth step for this letter. The seventh step, how to write it correctly. Remember how I said it should be written? It is just a W with a line here, right? So it is not entirely true. We have to have a curve or bend here. A bend is actually not a curve. So it will be something like this. A small bend will be here. You can see on the screen how it is written. But if you are writing it even in this way, people will understand it. That is correct. Even that is correct. And telling the truth, I usually write it in this way. So this is how you write the word correctly. A little bend here, which most of the people will tell you to have. But yeah, even if you're writing in this way, we are writing an exam and or you're practice, uh, practicing uh, Gurmukhi on a piece of paper, even if you're writing in this way, it will be fine. The 10th letter. Oh my God, this is the toughest letter. I cannot even express it in words. Before we go with the steps, the seven steps that we have. Let's talk about this letter first. This is one of the unique letters in Gurmukhi. If we specifically talk about Punjabi, in Punjabi, we will not be having any word which will be starting from this letter. So if we talk about English, we say A for apple, B for boy or B for ball. But when we come across this letter in Gurmukhi, we say Nanga Khali. What does it mean? It means that this letter is blank. We do not have any word in Punjabi. We do not have any word in Punjabi which will be starting from this letter. This might be a shock to many people who are learning this language. So we have 
not only one, but a few other letters also that we will talk about in the next lectures. So this is a different letter. Now, when I say in Punjabi, there will be no word which will be starting from this letter. It does not mean that in Gurbani, it will be true. So we are having these two terms. Just remember this. We are having Punjabi. We are having Gurmukhi. If you look at them, they are same. If you know Punjabi, you will be able to read Gurmukhi. But it is not true that if you know Punjabi, you will be reading Gurmukhi correctly. So usually whenever you read Gurbani, right? Before reading Gurbani, you have to take some thea. So let me write it here. Uh, what does Santhya mean? Santhya means to learn from a master, you can say in English. A person who knows how to read Gurmukhi correctly, how to read Gurbani correctly, he will teach you how to read Gurbani. So, reading Punjabi and reading Gurmukhi, both are different things. A Punjabi speaker might not read Gurmukhi or Gurbani correctly. Even though the scripts are same, whatever we use in Punjabi, we use the same things in Gurmukhi, but the pronunciation and the pauses, they are very important. That is why I said Punjabi and Gurmukhi, they look same, but a Punjabi speaker might not be able to read Gurbani correctly. But a person who knows Gurbani, he will definitely learn, uh, he will definitely know everything in Punjabi. So, in Punjabi, we will not be having any word starting from this letter. Okay, so let me circle this with a red so that you will remember. We will not be using this word, this letter to start any letter in Punjabi. But when it comes to Gurmukhi, you will find so many examples where we will be using this letter as the first letter. In Punjabi, this letter can be used at the second position or at the third position depending upon the word but not at the first position. But it is not true when we talk about Gurbani. So remember this thing, it is very important. First step, how to write it? I will get this five from here. And then you do like this. Simple. This is how you will write this letter. Use a five to write this letter. Second step, similar letters. We do not have any similar letters in Gurmukhi, which will be like this. So it is not there. The third step, Oh no, this is, this is, this is so, so tough. Um, you cannot represent this with English letters. There is no way that you can represent it with English letters. So you have to learn by listening to a person who knows how to pronounce this letter. And before we start the pronunciation, I want say this thing, we do not use this letter in our everyday conversations. Even if it is at the second place or third place, it will be very, very rarely, it will be very rarely used. I never heard people 
um, using this word in our everyday conversations, but in books, sometimes it will be used at the second position or at some other positions, but not at the first position, unless we are talking about Gurbani. So the pronunciation of this letter is Nganga. And it is tough, right? I will say again, Nganga. Nganga. Let me say it again. Nganga. So this is how you will pronounce this letter. The fourth step. The fourth step is again, you cannot represent it with English letters. The sound of this letter will be Nga. If you know how to pronounce this letter, you will get the sound too and vice versa. If you know how to have the sound of this letter, you will know how to pronounce it. The sound will be Nga. And the pronunciation will be Nga. Sometimes people use to represent it with G, but it will be wrong because it will not be sounding like a G or a G. So it is different. Nganga is the pronunciation. Nga is the sound of the letter. I'm sorry, I cannot represent it in any way because there is no letter in English alphabets that will help me out here. The fifth step. In Punjabi, there will be no examples because as I said, we will not be using this letter at the beginning of a word. But if we talk about Gurbani, the first example that I can give you is this. Second example will be So just to tell you briefly this is my symbol again a symbol a symbol a symbol So these are the two examples that we can have in Gurmukhi or in Gurbani, you can say, but in Punjabi, you will not be having any example or any word which will be starting from this letter. No, you will not have any. The sixth step is wrong sounding words. If I do not have the words in English for examples, then I cannot have anything in the sixth step. The seventh step will be how to write it correctly. The correct way of writing it will be this. So this is how you will write it. Actually, instead of bending it from here, you can extend it to here. Oops, here, it will be good. This is how you will write the 10th letter correctly in Gurmukhi. If you have any doubt related to any letter so far that we have discussed, please let me know in the comment section below. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.